you know, I was having some problems with um, using Jupyter Notebook um, in Anaconda. And I think uh, the problem is, is that, you know, when you try to create an R environment here and try to install the package with R, it, the Anaconda only provides um, R version uh, 3.6.1, which is not sufficient. You know, the current, you know, current um, version of R is 4.2.1 as of this recording. So, you know, it's not, it's not sufficient. So, you know, I, I, I found a couple of uh, sites on the internet that, you know, kind of gave this answer. So I, I want to show you how I did mine. So I, I have Anaconda installed. And with Anaconda, I have, it gives us a couple of things over here. It gives us this Anaconda prompt and Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to right button click here and run as administrator, right? Run as administrator. Um, and then um, as I'm running administrator, the first window pops up. I'm going to type in Conda, install dash C Anaconda. And the sun is Jupyter underscore client. Enter here. Now it, it's going to take a couple minutes um, and it's going to prompt you to install. So I'm going to open up an entirely new window. Right button click here as well, more as an administrator, right? And for this window, so this guy's still going, right? Wait for this prompt. I need to go and find the location of my r.exe, right? So, you know, hopefully you have that installed. If you don't, you need to install um, R. Yeah. Fortunately, I installed R when I installed R Studio. So I have it. And my R, my version of R is located in my C drive program files directory, R subdirectory, R-42 sub subdirectory and bin. Yeah, so here is my r.exe. Now make sure that if you don't see the rxe, make sure you have the you have the file extension on. So if you take it off, it goes away, right? So that's it over there. And once I do that, once I see my r.exe, I right button click and properties and I see it's located here, right? I need to copy that. Incidentally, now that we're here, I'm going to take it back to the R, my R folder over here. And, um, you know, because I was having problems, uh, because, you know, when you install packages, it writes it to the, it writes it to the uh, library uh, directory of your, you know, current version of R. So it writes it in here. So, um, you know, what I had to do, and you may, have to do this as well. Um, what I did was I went to properties and security and I made sure my user and my admin both had full access. So my users, I'm going to edit that guy and just kind of, you know, make sure that they have all over here because it writes it to the library. You know, maybe I'm doing overkill a little bit, but, you know, I, I just take it from the R folder, all directory all the way down. So, you know, just to be sure. Okay, so that's good. I don't need this guy no more. Yeah. Then I'm going to change the directory and I'm going to paste in my directory from my R. I'm going to do my R over here. And it starts off R. Now the other window says again, here is, is prompting you, right? So do you want to install? I say yes. It's going to install these packages. Right. So it's going to install the Jupyter client, all those kind of things, right? So it's going to be installing over there. In the meantime, down here in R, I'm going to go ahead and install my dev tool. Okay, dev tool. And this guy also is going to prompt you for a yes. Well, you got to find a, a distro. You have to have on a repo, sorry. And I'm gonna pick one in the US. I'm gonna pick one there. And so this guy is about done. Yeah, this guy's about done. I can close this guy now. So this guy's still thinking it's gonna take a couple minutes, right? So um, you know, 
is um, you should have been there with all my dev tools. And then I have to do uh, one step here. One more thing I have to go and uh, install a uh, capital I, capital R kernel. Okay. So it should be, you know, it should be able to install that guy as well. And then last step here, then I come here and I um, I do my RR kernel. Oh, sorry. Colon, colon. Yeah. Install. Yeah. So, you know, it, um, it should be the last step and it should work. Okay, so once this guy is complete, then you can go to your your menu in there. Yep, done. Then come here, look at my Jupyter notebook. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open in my one of my browsers that I have. Let's go see. I was thinking, thinking, thinking. There you go. Open up my Jupyter notebook. Yeah. There you go. Then I click on here, look for my R. Then I'm going to test it out. You know, it's something simple. I was having tremendous problems just installing packages like DPLRR and TidyR. So I am just going to do that. Let's see, right? Install packages. Uh, run that guy. And then I'm going to do get ready with the library. Wait, you know, with the library thing over here. Yeah. And I, I'm going to, you know, while that's working over there, I'm going to type in a couple of things over here. Now. And I'm going to do one more thing over here library. And there you are. All right. Okay. So this guy, I'm going to run all these guys too. And, you know, no error messages over here. So it looks, looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like it's doing good. So you go and try. That's how I did mine. Yeah. So now I can do my packages here.